Hello, welcome to this presentation on graphing by using slope and y-intercept. We're going to look at some equations that are given to us in this form, which is slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form tells us what our slope is, which is m. m is always slope. That's just your rise over your run, which tells us how far up or how far down we're going and then how far we're going either left or right. Your B is just where it crosses your y-intercept. Alright, so let's get started. Some examples here. Well here, this is number one. We know that the graph of line is going to cross at one. It's going to have a slope of negative six. So you know, if we're eyes over one, run, right? So we or if you prefer, you're going to have 6 over negative 1. It doesn't really matter. Both are going to work out in the end. So our slope is negative 6. Let's go down 6 spots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We're going to run 1, right? And we just want to connect the dots. And if that was a perfectly straight line, that would be our answer. Hopefully you've got a ruler so you can do a better job than I did. So again, let's look at our y-intercept. Our y-intercept is what? Negative 5. Don't forget that negative sign out front. Always plot that first because it's the easiest thing to do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And also our y-intercept, you know, the real reason we plot that first is from your y-intercept you take your slope and and you get your other point, right? Because you've got to have somewhere to start, you know, to rise and run from. So we know that our slope is negative 4 over 3, so that's your rise over your run. Or if you want to ride it this way, 4 over negative 3 as your rise over your run. Either way, and really, I would have picked this way. Because if you go down four spots, you'll be down here. You want to stay in your graph just so it's easier to work with. So we're going to go up one, two, three, four spots. Then we're going to run over negative three. One, two, three. We're going to plot that point. And I'm going to try to connect the dots. And if that was a straight line, that would be our... Answer, it's kind of hard to get these things to be straight with this uh, pen I have here. But you get the point. Look at uh, a couple more examples here. We're still doing y-intercept. Well, what are we going to do with this one? There's no x, is there? Well, if there's no x, no x means there's no slope right or zero slope so when you see a y equals a constant this will be a horizontal line so don't freak out you know if you see y is equal to negative 2 just negative 2 to be down here and your graph is going to look just like this, right? Here we go. Got a straight line finally. And that's it. This makes sense because you have a slope of zero, right? It's because you're neither going up or down. So that's three. Let's look at four. Four is going to be our last one. Let's start with our slope of negative three, which is be one, two. First off, it's going to be here. There's our two options. Um, I'm going to pick the seven over negative two because I can go up seven spots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven over negative two. So far, it's making sense, right? 
Oh, come on. It's, a, it's a bad line. Try it again. Ah. Still doing the same thing. Yeah. Pretty close. It's kind of hard to get it right with this uh, writing tablet I have, but it should go through both of those, and that's a negative slope, so it's going down. Just look and just see. Right here, it'd be a positive slope, right? Negative slope. Let's do this one real quick. You got your three, slope of, you know, two over one, one, two, one. So notice, this line's, this line's going to go up. It's going to go down. And, you know, that's something that you want to look at. You know, here you got a positive slope, so your line should be going up right here. Horizontal. Oh, this is zero slope. And by the way, if you got an X is equal, so remember this is a vertical line. It has a undefined slope. If you're in my class, you probably won't see this too much, but other teachers like to test people on that. So, And sometimes I'll throw it on a test to make sure that people who get a perfect score deserve it. Let's see. That's it. There's nothing else really too interesting. Positive slopes. That one's going to go up. Negative. That one's going to go down. Remember here, your coefficient's understood to be 1 actually a negative one. And that's his presentation. Good luck with it.